Hey, thank you for joining us today. Today is Wednesday, April 15, 2020, and we are so happy that you came back to hang out with us. We have a great show for you today. We're going to talk about valuing your gifts. We're going to do some line dancing. We're going to do some cooking. We're going to do some laughing. How about that? I just want to ha, ha, ha. I know I'm a little silly, but listen, I don't want to hold us too long. I want us to get right into the show and have a great time today. So as you see these guests come through, what I want you to do is celebrate with them. If parents, your kids, if they're doing the line dances or they're having a great time, take some pictures, take some videos, send them into us because there's going to be a chance and an opportunity for them to win some gifts. So please stay tuned. Stay with us. This is Mentor to Mentee with Mr. Z. That's me. Let's have a good time, y'all. Let's rock. Let's rock. Let's rock. Let's rock. I do not own the rights to this music, but it's good for the soul. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. All right, good afternoon, everyone. ZF Taylor, I want to introduce our host for the day. PJ, raise your hand. Eliza, raise your hand. Hey, tell people a little bit about you. Say your name again and say how old you are. So I'm Roger and I'm nine years old. That's what's up. My name is Peter. I'm 11 years old. Hey, he gave you his full government. That's Peter right there. And he's 11. You said 11, man? Yes. All right, that's what's up. Right now, we're going to get into the videos and we're going to let it roll. And keep the phone on from there, okay? So sit back, enjoy. Let me know if you can't hear me, okay? Okay. All right. Listen, I'm gonna say shine about 379,000 times in this song. And it's only because I want you to shine. So, shine.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to come back to our co-hosts and let's check in with them. Guys, that's Avery Sunshine talking about Shine. What did you think about that song? It was good. It was good? What was she trying to have everybody do? Um, repeat on the Shine. Shine? How'd it go? Shine. Shine. Okay, y'all ready? Everybody say Shine. 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 Everybody say Shine. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, guys. So introduce everyone to some of the things and gifts that God has blessed you with. Drawing. Drawing? Okay, okay. What type of things do you like to draw? Lots of stuff. Like what? Um, animals, mostly. Okay, okay. All right. And then what other gifts have God blessed you with? Someone plays piano. Me. Uh huh. That's you, Peter. And who who was playing the bongos and the drums or whatever? Me. That was Elijah. Okay. Well, right now we're about to get into a segment uh, that's talking about valuing your gift. Okay. So let's watch this, and then when we when we're done with it, pay attention. We're gonna come back and talk about it. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, guys. I appreciate you for being here with me today. Hang on real quick. Let's keep it moving with our guest facilitator, Camille Benton Williams, character development. Let's go. Hey, y'all. It's Camille Benton Williams. Once again, it's your auntie, Camille Benton Williams. We have been having a great time talking about the creative space with the virtual mentoring program. Thank you, Dr. Z, for allowing me to be a part of this. It is so important that we impact those who are coming behind us. I want to talk today about valuing. We talked about yesterday taking care of the gift, but I want to talk about valuing the gift. And I know a lot of times we have a tendency as people, as human beings, is to compare ourselves to others. And it can be very dangerous. And so I want you to understand that what you are, who you are, how you've been created, what you bring to the world, what you bring to your friends, to the classroom, to your family, to your church, to the world at large, is so valuable. You cannot allow it to be cheapened by comparing it to others. There's a scripture in the Bible that talks about everybody plays a part. Uh, the hand can't do what the foot can do. The ear can't do what the eye can do. And the nose certainly can't do what my elbow does. But each of those parts are important. And we cannot function the same without each of those parts. And so it is with you, my friends, that don't spend time comparing yourself with others and allowing that to devalue who you are and what you have to bring to the table. Everybody is important. There's a space for everyone. And everybody has such uniqueness that uh, they, they, they help just to play the part in the whole production. Everybody plays a part. So don't spend time comparing. Don't spend time with any negative self-talk. Shut that down. And remember how great and important you are because God created you. Yes, yes, Jesus loves you and me. Yes, Jesus, he loves you and me. Whoa, yes, Jesus, he loves you and me. For the Bible tells me. So, so, listen, stay in the creative space, take care of what you've been given and value it. Do not compare to others. What you have is so unique, will make such a huge impact on the world. Don't be robbed of that. No negative self-talk. Push forward to be the greatest that you can be. Come on and stay in your creative space. Take care until the next time. This is your auntie, Camille Benton Williams. See you later. All right, guys. That was Auntie Camille Benton Williams. What did you think about what she said? 
I liked it. You liked it? Tell me what you what you got from it. Um, that you should protect your gift and not say it's different. I don't like it or try to change it. Absolutely. What about the part where she says, don't compare yourself to other people because you are uniquely, wonderfully made? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's really important. So like when you're playing piano or drawing or uh, playing the drums or even if you're helping out singing, you never know. One of you guys may end up preaching one day like your parents, you know? Um, you got to protect that gift. You have to value it. Pretty dope, huh? You like it? Mm -hmm. Right now, like I suspected, we have at least one of the little sisters with us. We have Miss Maggie. Say hi, Maggie. Hi. Tell everyone how old you are. Uh, four. You're four? You're four? What is your favorite thing to do? Uh, color. You like to color. What do you like to color? Coloring books or you draw your own pictures? I draw my homework. Wow, talented, talented, I love it. Right now, we're gonna watch our, um, our fitness guru, Miss uh, Adrienne Glass. And this time, she's gonna have you dancing. So you guys, you can go ahead and stand up because you're gonna have to learn these moves. Are you ready for it? Help yes. me welcome our fitness guru, Adrian Glass. Adrian, happy Workout Wednesday. This is Coach AG, and I'm excited that you're here to join me again for another edition of Fit in Five. Today, we're going to be dancing for our workout today. I'm going to show you guys a line dance to a song called Blessing is on Blessings. And it's gonna have, we're going to have some fun, all right? So the steps are pretty easy, and we'll learn it in a minute or so, and then we'll go ahead and add the music. You ready? Let's go. All right, so this dance starts off with the right foot. We're going to step our right leg forward, forward, back, forward, back, crisscross, okay? Then the same thing with the left leg, forward, back, forward, back, crisscross. Let me show you how it goes. All right, so you go step up, back, up, back, crisscross. Then you step up with your left. Step up, back, up, back, crisscross. All right, that's the first part of the dance. Really, really simple, okay? Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, eight, step up, back, up, back, crisscross, okay? With the left, go up, back, up, back, crisscross. Good? All right, now let's move on to the second part. This involves a turn, so we're gonna turn to the right first in three steps. So you're gonna step one, two, three, stop, Clap, clap, okay? Then you step up, step back. Then we're gonna go back to the left. One, two, three, clap, clap. So every time when you get to your third step, you're gonna clap twice. And then we turn, one, two. You step out with your right leg and you turn. Let's try that move again, just cause it's a lot of little pieces coming together. So we're gonna step out to your right in three steps, here we go. One, two, three, clap, clap, step up, step back to the left. Go one, two, three, clap, clap, and up with your right, turn with your right, okay? One more time for good measure. Let's try that again. We're gonna step to our right in three steps. Here we go, five, six, seven, eight, step one, two, three, clap, clap, step up, step back to the left. One, two, three, clap, clap, and turn. Just add some music to it. Here we go. Step up, back, up, crisscross. Come on with your left leg. Go up, back, up, crisscross. We're going to turn to the right. One, two, three, clap, clap, step up, step back. Turn to the right. 
week for another edition of Fit and Fire with Coach AG. Have a wonderful day, y'all. Uh, all right, all right. I saw you all dancing. You looking good. How did that feel? Do you feel like you exercised some? Mm -hmm. Anybody sweating like Mr. Z? No, no. no. <laughs> How are you guys not sweating? I don't get that. You kids, you guys get away with that stuff. I have to sweat all the time. All right, guys, thank you for hanging with me. I think Maggie and Lucy are really going to love this one. This is Mama Jones and Stormy Jones. They are cooking cookies. Okay, yeah. I'm going to Hey, y'all. I'm Mama. And I'm Stormy. And together we are Diva Queens. <laughs> All right, so today we have a little special treat for you. We're going to kind of bring in some home economics in. Home economics. Home economics. That's just a, a little segment or, or like a class that you would take to learn a little bit of not necessarily domestic duties, but things like cooking and uh, ways to clean or just things to do around the house, especially about this time while we're all quarantined and stuck, not able to do anything at all. Yes, we're going to cook, and our segment today is going to be called Delicious or Dish It. And what that means is that if it is good, we're going to say, mm, mm, It is so delicious. But if we don't like it, we're gonna do what with it? We're gonna dish it and throw it in the trash. Dun, 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 dun. And then the food will be like, no, we need to it. And then we have a cameo appearance by my son that you just seen standing there a minute ago. <laughs> say hi, Bryson, to everybody. All say right, hi, to you guys. Daddy can't say hi right now. So let's focus as we've got a little bit of time left. So what we're going to do is see if this here Easy Bake Oven can do the trick. Y'all remember those? You too young to remember those? Okay, well, we're going to try out an Easy Bake Oven to see if it's going to do the trick. And what we're going to make today, are, uh, what is this? Cookies. Not just any cookies, but lemon cookies. Yum, yum, yum. I, I don't think I've ever tried lemon cookies. I don't think I've tried lemon cookies either. Okay, but, sour? We'll find out. We'll learn today. So, the might be a little sour, but we'll see. A cooker? A cooker? <laughs> All right, so let's get to making these ingredients. So right now what we have so far, we have the uh the, the baking the the stuff the cookie mix. <laughs> we got the baking stuff so the cookie mix is already in here and what we're going to add next we're going to put in three tablespoons of all-purpose flour you want to pour that in there for me to put it all in there okay so while that is in there i want you to take this spoon and stir it up real good 
And while she stirs, stir, stir it, I'm gonna crack this one egg. And we're gonna put that in there. There are no <laughs> shells. No shells. Just stir it up. Stir it up. And then the last thing, while she's stirring that up, this is a little hot. We want to add in a half a cup of butter. A half a cup of butter is about a whole stick of butter. Stir it, stir it up. Hey, stir it up. Stir it, stir it up. Be careful, baby. I'm about to pour this in here. This is melted butter, half a, a half a cup. No, you cannot. Thank you, Joe. It smells good. Is this such that has butter cheese? Butter cheese? Butter cream or butter cheese cream? Well, there's butter cheese. No, butter cream icing. Yeah. No, not this. I, I don't even know what it's that dough. We are getting it in. Getting it in. Getting it in. We are getting it in. Because you turn everything into a wrap. Not some are songs. Most of them are wraps. All right, so you want to take that dough? A little bit. That is yummy. No, I got some hand sanitizer here. Spray your hands. That is a little sour. All right, so I'm going to spray mine. Do you think it tastes good, though? Yeah. All right. It's a little sour. It's a little sour. Okay, so let's do this. Now what we're going to do, everybody, is we're going to take some of this cookie dough. We got a little tray here, so we're going to save some of this dough for later. But we're going to take a little bit of this dough, and we're going to make little teeny tiny balls. Just like that. Isn't that the cutest little old thing you see? Oh, isn't that the cutest little old thing? Oh, I just want to hug you and kiss you and squeeze you and take, take you in. Can balls, too? Yeah, that's the cutest little old precious little old lemon drop ball. <laughs> what you trying to say? All right, now <laughs> let's make some more. The truth. Yeah, they can hear us. And you thought you had me beat. Ha! Let's see. Let's see what these cookies look like. Well, when I did this, I meant I was okay. When I said, I was okay. got in her mouth. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's see. And then after we taste this, we're going to call it a day. Now, are we going to delish it or fix it? Let's see. That's a good time. These are delish it, okay? All right, you guys. That's our time. Wait, not yet. Yeah, yeah. They need to try. Your turn to try. Thank you for joining us, everybody. 
Yum, yum, yum. Bye bye. All right. So let's talk about them. That's Mama Jones and Stormy Jones. And that was good. They were good. You guys ever help mommy and daddy cook? Yes. yes. Who is that, Maggie or Lucy? Maggie. Maggie, Maggie says she uh, cooks the bacon. Maggie wants Mama. Maggie She helps cook the bacon, huh? Uh -huh. All right, guys. So listen, I thank you for being my co-host today. What do you want to say to the people? What do you want to say to the other kids that are out there that are stuck at home having to stay home and do their schoolwork and everything? Um, what can you say to encourage them? Keep on doing the work. Can't hear you. Say that again. Keep on doing the work. I like that. What do you got to say, Peter? Um, if you finish your work fast, you can do anything else. Ah, get your work out of the way, and then you can have fun, huh? Oh, this is Maggie. So, tell Maggie to come say bye to us. Bye, Maggie. Come say bye-bye. Who's the country? Bye-bye. Where's Lucy at? Both of you ladies say bye. Bye. Thank you for being here. Purpose with the passion to bring the word, we welcome back Randy Granger. Hello, how's everyone doing today? First, I would like to say that I do not own any right to the music playing in the background. Uh, we're going to hop right into the Bible study that I have for you guys today. Um, Philippians 4.13, and it says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Basically saying that you can do whatever you want or anything that motivates you through Christ. If you want to be a firefighter like me, if you want to be a dancer, songwriter, if you want to be a, in the military, you want to be a president of the United States, a teacher, anything that you desire to be, you can be through God. And I hope you guys enjoy your day. That was a quick core for us today. And you have a good one. Yeah, he was really quick on that one. <laughs> but hey, coming from a youth's mind, you just appreciate the fact that they love the Lord and they read the Bible. So Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So the floor is yours. All right. Well, I wanted to encourage the parents, um, especially about homeschooling. Uh, we're all homeschooling right now. So I'm still new to homeschooling. It was our first year to start homeschooling uh, th this whole school year. And what I've come to learn, I hear people saying we have to homeschool. Um, they're being forced to homeschool. But uh, I think that it's a privilege and we get to homeschool. So the privilege I see, just like there's a reason teachers love their jobs so much. They get to see that growth in the students. Um, so as a parent, sometimes we don't get to see it. We go into conferences and we're surprised at um, things that they've learned, things that they've done. When we're homeschooling, we get to see that progress every day, which is a blessing. Another blessing that I've learned is that uh, you, they get to, there's time for them to study things they're interested in. So I found it helpful to give them that flexibility, things, even life skills, things that you always wanted to teach them. I know some parents are using this time to teach their kids how to cook, uh, teach their kids how to work on the car. Uh, the boys right now are uh, learning typing. Uh, they got a typing program online they're working on. Really? And yeah, yeah. What about cursive? Yeah, cursive is next. <laughs> cursive is next. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So things that they're interested in, they have like, um, they're making movies like with their Legos. Um, so when they're done with their regular schoolwork, we find like another learning activity that they can do. Um, that's something they're interested in. A thing I think that makes it easier on ourselves also to realize it is homeschooling. We don't have to duplicate school at home. Wow. So you don't have to start at eight o'clock. You don't have to uh, go for so many hours and have a lunch break. You can be flexible. What works for your family? Um, so if they need to sleep in, especially right now, there's a pandemic. It's good for their immune system to get enough sleep. Let them sleep in. It's not a big deal if we start school at 10 o'clock. Come on, sis. Yeah, it's not a big deal if we do it on the evening. If we take Friday off and do it on Saturday, it's not a big deal. And I think that's some of the flexibility 
it should be what works for your family and, and what works for your child. And the point is so that they can be healthy in this time. Listen, I love the fact that you said we have to look at it from a different perspective. Um, yeah. It's not a chore for us to do homeschooling for our kids. It's a privilege. Um, yeah. Before this pandemic, um, the schools and the teachers spent more time with our kids than we did. Yeah. Now we have an opportunity to take an active role like it used to be years ago yeah. in their education, in their mm -hmm. nurturing on a daily basis. Um, mm -hmm. And hopefully, you know, from my, my perspective, uh, being in the school system and working with kids, I mean, parents are able to see their child's behavior and their personality and what some of the teachers may have spoken of. But uh, mm -hmm. I love the fact that you said we don't have to duplicate school. We can yeah. make the culture the way that we need it to be. That works for them because as mothers and fathers, we know best. And now we have yeah. an opportunity to do our best. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I love it. I love it. Larice, uh, Bowie, I appreciate you for being with us today. I thank you for yeah. lending your kids to be my co-host today. Of course. Um, I, every week we're going to come up at Wednesday at 12 noon, programming for the whole family. Um, I'm happy that you all were part of it today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Good to be part of it. We'll be here. All right. Thank you for the support, and we'll talk to you soon. All right. Sounds good. Bye-bye. Good people. It is that time. It is that time where I have to say goodbye for a week, but I promise you I will be back next week, and the show will even be better. You know, we're going higher and higher. It's just inevitable because that's what we do. I am coming to you with your Mentor Motivational Minute. We talked about last week that anything can happen. That is true. Anything can happen. There are so many possibilities in this life. And it really does depend on what we choose to do with the time that we've been given. Everyone has the certain level of authority and power and ability inside of them to create something, to make this world a better place. So my question to you, what are you doing? What did you do today to make today a better day? make your house a better place, make your family a little bit better because we have that ability. Is it a smile? Is it a song? Is it a nice little note saying, I appreciate you? Using characteristics such as gratitude and, and joy and, and uh, gratefulness and all of those, those are the things that we need to utilize in order to make our world a better place. Generosity. This is my challenge to you for this next week. Find out ways that you can create and do and help someone. Help your situation, help your family, help your community. Until next time, good people, this is ZF Taylor, Mr. Z, with your mentor to mentee. We'll see you soon. God bless.